Hello and welcome to some Sims 4. Now I'm making this video a little out of order so there might be some stuff in the house that you haven't seen yet but I wanted to get this video out for Halloween because as you can see over here I've been working on our what I like to call the sacrifice shed. <laughs> um, it's definitely creepy. Um, I just want to give a little intro here. Um, so this house is based around a house that I built in Banished, or that was uh, kind of thought up in Banished as a house that a murderer lived in and, you know, took his people out to his shed out in the back of his house. And I've just kind of been, like, playing it up from here. So in my head, this guy is kind of like a... I think he's in a cult. I don't know if he's the leader of a cult, but he's definitely in a cult. Like, the Banished time is, like, colonial time, right? Like, I don't know. I like to think of Banished around the time that the Salem witch trials were going on and, like, witch covens were kind of prominent and, you know, different little cults were, you know, it was a creepy time. So this is kind of what this is based after. Um, I went on the Sims res resource and found this creepy book. Like, is, if there is a cult book manual, I'm pretty sure it is this thing right here. And this is our shrine. So this is kind of what our cult leader... I don't know if this is their god or their idol, their demon they worship. I don't know. Um, it's definitely creepy and it fits in with some cult mentality. So I just wanted to give you some insight before we go look in the sacrifice shed. Um, let's go take our first look. I'm going to zoom in here so I can get it how I want it. And let's go down. Nope. Just like that. And this is the sacrifice shed. Um, I would like to think if I woke up here, it, I would be scared out of my mind. Like... There's just pictures of those creepy sisters all over the place. Um, I don't know. This guy is some, is seriously messed up. Uh, we got a huge fireplace in here to, you know, get rid of the evidence. You see some evidence in there that's going to be burned. We got some clothes that need to be getting rid of. But over here, we have the all Mac Daddy Shrine. It is huge. It has the giant creepy sun symbol with the Cthulhu arms coming out of the side and the bottom. I found this really awesome book with like an, an altar book. And if you actually look in it, it has some creepy symbols and some uh, blood spatters. It, it went perfect in here. You know, when they're sacrificing whatever they're sacrificing in here, this is probably what they're reading from. Um, we got some another book over here. You can never have too many creepy books when you're part of a cult. I, you know, I would imagine... We got a, a wine glass for the bottle of blood. You know, that's what you drink out of, your little red goblet. And as I said, the fireplace to get rid of the evidence, right? Like we got some, I don't know what this is, somebody's briefcase full of documents that has to be getting rid of, some clothes that need to be burned. Um, over here we have some hides on tanning racks. Are they animal hides? Are they not animal hides? I don't know. I'm not part of this creepy cult. But, you know, uh, according to kind of what shack we're looking at in here, um, I don't know. I would assume the worst. It's pretty creepy. Uh, we got some animal hides on the ground for some floor cover. And this is, this is the creepy shed. This is kind of what I came up with. I really had to use my imagination building this because, believe it or not, there's not a lot of Sims content that is scary. I looked for bones because I thought, like, putting bones in the fireplace would be kind of cool. Um, I looked for, like, anything that could look like blood that was on the ground. I couldn't find anything. I looked for just, just all kinds of creepy stuff and it came up dry. I found a few things. I found these tanning hides, you know. I found this creepy pitcher, which is really kind of what this whole house is centered around. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to spam it all over the walls in here 
to let people know that this guy is truly crazy and just has pictures of this creepy, like, ghost, three ghost figures all over his house. And then we got the Cthulhu sun god back behind it. So this is a sacrificial shed. Hard to say. I always want to say sacrificial shack. I guess it could really be either. Um, the outside is not done. I just threw it together so I could come get a recording. I wanted to get this out before Halloween. Um, which is tomorrow. So I needed to get it done tonight. And I added a few things to the library. We'll do some bonus content. I added a keg to the library. You know, it's a bar. Nope, no, nope. One more time. There we go. Um, it's a bar, so I figured, you know, it needed a keg. And I showed you the new uh, cult book, which is much better than the last one. And I don't want to show you the other half of the house because that is in a separate recording that I don't think will be up before this one. And I did find our Scarecrow. So if you've been watching my Banished series, you know that the murder or the Nightmare House has a Scarecrow in the yard. And this is the best I could find. And it's creepy. Like, it is... If I saw that in someone's yard, I would be scared. Especially if it was next... Uh, next to... Come on, work with me here. Next... <laughs> you press all the wrong buttons. Next to this creepy place, like... I don't know, I felt really creepy when I was building it and trying to, like, piece it together, and I think it came out pretty good. It shows a kind of deranged cult leader. I don't know. That's the kind of mindset I thought the person living here would have. So, if you enjoyed this or found it creepy on Halloween, please leave me a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more Sims content, uh, mostly building. And I will see you next time back in The Sims 4.